right, hey guys. So I'm pretty nervous to make this video because I'm so self-conscious about my skin. Like most people have never seen me without my makeup and that's close friends, close family. A lot of people have never seen me without my makeup. A lot of people have never seen my back and my shoulders. And that's because I got acne at a really, really, really young age. Like, like I started my first pimple like at four. Like I always had really bad eczema. Like the skin problem for me has been horrific. I had terrible scars. I was so, 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 so embarrassed. Like people, ugh. I got teased so bad. It was, uh, especially being young, like kids don't understand. They suck. Anyways, as you can see, my, my body is a little bit, ugh. oh, I hate it. Ah! Ah! I feel so uncomfortable, but, um, I just don't show it. Like, especially if I'm filming, like, and I'm on set and they start and they like, if they put me in a pretty little dress or something and or just a shirt that's more revealing and they have to do make my body makeup like I'm so embarrassed it's mortifying but all that is gone because I have to I'm, I'm gonna be wearing a wedding dress soon eventually doggone it so I needed to find a solution and just vacationing everything I just I can't live the way that I live like I'm so mortified about like my skin and need, needless to say needless to say while I was on set, some of the other lighter toned actresses, they were using like tanning lotion and stuff to cover up all of their body imperfections and make them all one even tone. And I was like, oh gosh, I wish they had that for dark skinned people. And they were like, they do. And I was like, tell me more. I found some tanning stuff. And I, of course I went online, I went on YouTube. I started looking at what other people do, but a lot of people were just like adding bronze or just evening their skin tone. I actually was trying to cover up and then I saw girls using foundation. Like, I don't want to put foundation and makeup on my body. Like, I don't want to worry about it getting on my clothes. I don't want to do all that. I don't want to worry about stains. I don't want to come from my bed. I don't want, I don't want to hug somebody. And it, like, I don't have to worry about that with my face. I don't need all these problems. This is what they were using on set. It was the airbrush legs, but they were using the airbrush leg, like makeup in the, like the squeezy. But that actually like, from what I saw on YouTube, it can come off pretty easily with like water and stuff like that and I don't need that. This is the water resistant airbrush legs deep glow. Now I'm very dark and this is definitely not dark enough for me, but it's dark. This is like a very good brown. Like if you're a brown skin person, this probably works for you. And then this is the, I bought a bunch, like I, I, went, I went ham like testing and trying to see which one works. A lot of them just added a nice glow, who cares? And this was really the only one, this and another one but this one was dark and I'm dark. So this one is the Luxury Sunless Mousse from LA Tan and it's black bronzing. This is medium and this stuff is dark, but it smells funny. So like after a day I showered and like try to get some of the smell off, but I shower and it stays on, so hey. This is me right now and I only have a little bit on my front. Ugh, my, my armpits are dark too. You can use it for, use it for your armpits too. But this is my back. I usually just call these freckles. And then when I call them freckles, I don't feel so bad about myself. Who knows, it might be freckles. I've had them for so long. And now I'm going to tie my hair up and show you how I put this on. Keep each other company. Maybe we can be each other's company. Right now, I'm letting this dry. This is like, um, I think it's supposed to kind of play the role of like a tanning lotion. But as you can see, it blends pretty well with like my dark skin. But see, I actually want to be darker, so I'm going to put the LA tan over it, which is um, more like a bronze and like dark for like dark people. And if you're dark and you put it on, it just makes you like even and dark. It's not actually gonna make you too dark or like much darker than you are. That no matter what dark you are, there's a, there's a color for you. Cause that's what I was like worried about. But this is after the makeup. Now, as you can see, I didn't put any like right here on these few little spots, but I have a lot right here and it really just covered it up. But here you can kind of see how pale it is. Like definitely does the job. Like I'm very satisfied, but here you can see like, right here, oh, it dries pretty fast too. So it's gonna be a little harder to move. Here you can see, here's my, here's this, here's my color. 
So this is like a brown, like, like, like a brown skin person, like brown. But right here, it doesn't look, it looks like it blends. Not really, a little bit. Well, it, it's drying, but it dries really fast. Like I'm just being, being precautious. It's probably been about two minutes and it's dry, but I'm gonna give it some time because I'm gonna be mixing something else. So I know that it would, it could like lift it up and stuff like that. This is a t-shirt by the way, cause I was trying to give you the full effect. So I turned this t-shirt into a little dress, then it's over, it's over, it's over, look away. Thank God that that wasn't boobage. Shut up, Lauren. Go away, die. Okay, back with my designer dress from Sears. I'm gonna come back and show you how I put on the other layer on top of it, and then we're gonna let that dry, and then you'll see the, um, the finished product. <laughs> One thing I also wanna say, I didn't put any right here. Um, I do have spots there but I didn't put any right there because I always have my hair down. I guess I could have my fiance rub some of that for me, but. Keep each other company. Maybe we can be each other's company. Now I feel like I could probably go out and do something. Like this side though was my bad side, and it really covered that. It really covered that. See, see, maybe I should have focused more on that. Like I should have been, I should have been a little more focused. And because on this side, I was definitely like, no, you can't show. So now this is the, this is the finish. I already said I don't do my back because. So I used the Airbrush Legs Deep Glow. I'm praying they have a darker color. I don't know. I'm telling you, I got this from the Walmart in the hood and it was cheap. So hey, no. I got this from somewhere else that I went to in the hood and ran into it and it was cheap. But somewhere, like, look, shopping, shopping the hood for this kind of stuff, cheap. Uh, don't, and it's water resistant, which you need, because you need to last several days, especially if you're gonna be wearing white, whatever. It's legs makeup, so that's why it goes on so thick and it's so amazing. But I need to make a darker one, because then I wouldn't have to do any of this if I could just put this on and go, because it dries so fast. Sally Hansen. And then after this, I went over it, wait a day. I went over it with the Sun Luxury Sunless Mousse Black Bronzing, LA Tan. This color is amazing, especially if I'm not doing any of this, but I just put this on. It's such a pretty color. And then after that, I went back over it with the Sally Hansen and then went over it again with the Jergens Instant Sun because I was, because I, it started lifting, I didn't wait as long. And then it's really hard to blend it. Like y'all, if you're trying to cover something, it's really hard. Like if you're just trying to get a nice even tone or if you have some sun blotching color spots, it might not hurt you, but like when you, when you have specific spots you're trying to cover, if you. And then after that was done, I went back over it with the Neutrogena Micro Mist Airbrush Sunless Tan. I really hope that helps you. I know I'm super insecure about this stuff. So hopefully if you're super insecure, this helps you to have a little bit more freedom because I really feel trapped in my skin sometimes. So finding all of these really makes me just feel more comfortable to just wear a shirt that even shows my chest because I don't show, I don't like to show my chest without like, or like if you're an actor like me and you're on set, maybe it'll just save you some embarrassment so you don't have to feel as bad about yourself. Because if you don't like it, change it or cover it. That's what I say. That might not be the best thing to say, but I mean, it helps me. It helps me stay confident. If I don't like it, just cover it up and I feel a little more free. So I didn't like it, covered it up. Cause you know, people always say, oh no, you know, it's fine. Lauren, it doesn't even look that bad. You don't have spots. Okay, no one's sitting there looking at your eyes and looking at your chest and not this part of your chest, this part of your chest or looking at your scars or asking you questions. No one does that to those people who were like, no, it looks fine. They don't have the problems. So change it if you want to. And don't listen to those people who are like, you know what, you need to love yourself, blah, blah, blah. If you need some help loving yourself, there's nothing wrong with that. Rock you, however you wanna rock you.